In the first instance, the committee will have an in-depth look at the immunisation situation in Côte d'Ivoire, its strong points, its weak points, and we will make recommendations to the Ministry of Health. In the medium term, the committee will look at making immunisation accessible to the entire population and evaluate the feasibility of such a plan. And at this juncture, we will share our ideas and future plans with the Ministry of Health and help them get ready to accommodate those needing vaccinations in the future. This is what our work will involve in the long term. The members have all been selected by the Minister of Health. They come from varied specialised backgrounds involving vaccination and immunisation and are immunisation specialists, experts in epidemiology, biostatistics, community health, socio-anthropology, paediatric nurses, paediatricians from the private sector and gynaecologists. Effectively, they can come from all sorts of areas, of all sorts of backgrounds and levels of competency which means they can bring a wide expanse of expertise to aid the development of vaccination in Côte d'Ivoire. Depuis l'année 2009, euh, on a introduit euh, dans le programme élargi de vaccination, on a introduit le vaccin since 2009, in the context of the WHO expanded program on immunization, we have introduced a vaccine against Haemophilus influenza type B or Hib. But vaccines for cervical cancer, which are very important, aren't yet available in Côte d'Ivoire. We are, however, taking steps to integrate them into the expanded program on immunization. The process is underway and we hope that it will work out as it would be very important in bringing down mortality rates, especially in children. Apart from South Africa, Côte d'Ivoire is the first sub-Saharan country to set up a National Immunisation Technical Advisory Group or NITAG. It's done this with the support of the Global Public-Private Partnership, the Gavi Alliance and the Supporting Independent Immunisation Vaccine Advisory Committees Initiative or CVAC, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The programme has been implemented by Agence de Médecine Préventive, or AMP, an International Vaccine Institute. Ces comités qui sont formés par des experts nationaux et nous insistons sur le fait que ces experts... The committees are formed of national experts and I would like to stress the importance of this. Each country does have the level of expertise necessary. The committees will study all available resources and data at international, national and regional levels and by following the World Health Organization policies can then make evidence-based recommendations to the ministry to increase immunization coverage. They can also propose schedules for the introduction and prioritization of new vaccines or indeed anything that might improve the population's health against diseases preventable by vaccination. Pour améliorer la santé de la population dans le cadre des maladies à prévention vaccinale. Vous savez que la première ressource. As you know, the most important resource in the development of a country is its people. If you have a population in good health, it is clear you will obtain good results in the workforce. If you have healthy children and healthy women, reproduction will not be an issue. So to reply to your question, the Ministry must address the issue of vaccination to optimise the well-being and productivity of its population. Vaccination soit retenu comme un élément, un outil important de mise en œuvre de la richesse humaine dans ce pays.